Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, SmilingDread4 here, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode, we took care of the one-winged angel himself, Sephiroth, probably one of, if not the most painful bosses in the game. Well, optional bosses in the game. Basically, he's frustrating, and uh, I don't know what else to say. He's frustrating. End of that story. However, he's not technically the final boss that we have left. Oh no. That's reserved for today's episode. Whereas you can see right here, a little pool, little pool orb thingy of purple energy is emitting from that little uh, wall over there. You guys remember this from earlier? This led to the Dragon Maleficent fight. And of course, that's going to be leading us up to our next fight. The Kingdom Hearts Final Mix exclusive boss. Only found in this version of the game. Either that or the 1.5 Remix version. Either way, you can only find him here and now. So that being said, before we go on to face him slash her, whatever it may be, a little uh, statistics. I have only leveled up three times out of state that I'm using this save file for, you know, the uh, true ending. You can do this at level 75, heck, you can probably do this at level 70. But you will need a lot of health, and you might need some certain abilities to go along with it. That being said, when it comes to this fight, I recommend having, of course, the Leaf Bracer for your curing when that's necessary. If you have Berserk at this point, which I'm assuming you wouldn't if you're not that kind of person, but if you do, go ahead and equip it, it can be very helpful later on. I'll have Strike Raid on equipped for the, uh, sir the second phase of his battle, you know, should we uh, get into that. And of course a bunch of MP stuff, like MP Rage and MP Haste. Second chance, always something that you should have equipped by this point. Literally, never take this off, there's no reason to. And everything else is everything else. Just stuff that you'd have since the beginning of the game. For equipment, I'm back to the Divine Rose as always. I have a Guard Earring equipped, a Raven's Claw, and the Omega Arts. For Donald and Goofy, they have what they have. Again, not too concerned about their, you know, accessories. As for items, you don't need too many elixirs and too many mega elixirs. Heck, if if you play off the strategy pretty well, you may not even need to use any of these. They're really just your in case of emergency items, which might be the case with this episode, knowing my luck. And anything else? Customization. Aroga and Kiraga are the only things you should worry about. If you want to, you can equip Gravity here if you want, but honestly, not much of a reason to do so. Well, except for TP, but yeah, not gonna be using Graviga. Don't expect that. And that's about it. This fight is definitely not the difficult, or the most difficult fight in the game. In fact, with what I have planned, this fight can be disgustingly easy. But that's precisely why I saved him for today. One, because, well, he's a Final Mix exclusive, and two, I need a break from these annoying super bosses. Just, it's painful, you know? So with my rambling on, let's get on to the fight itself. We'll go on through here, and see what lies beyond this purple portal of blackness, or purpleness. I don't know. Ow! My head, it hurts so much. Who are you? Ah, uh, it seems you are special too. I am Sam? Hmm. That name rings familiar. You remind me of him. What's that supposed to mean? Thunder! 
Word. Just freaking word. It means you are not whole. And what does that mean? You are incomplete. Well, thanks for answering my question. But you're still very ominous. Allow me. To test your strength. Let's do this. And thus the fight with this guy begins. The unknown, or question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, if you want to be more accurate. Again, this fight can be pretty disgustingly easy. To do this, one, make sure you summon Tinkerbell here, like I am doing. And two, ow. Cast Aroga. And then just whack all the way. Literally, this is the whole strategy. Just whacking this guy, coming for the best. There are things you have to be prepared for, but we won't be getting to those until later in the fight. Look at this. The counter, and your Berserk. Was well, so Donald healing you, and Tinkerbell healing you, and Aroga to keep you from getting damaged so often, this fight becomes a complete and utter joke. Look at this! It almost finished his purple bar yet, there's not even one minute. Well, in the fight, I mean. So, yeah. Pretty simple. As for his attacks, well, you've already seen them so far. At least his first couple ones. First off, he'll shoot those little fiery ruin balls, which expand into lightnings, which will, if you're caught in the radius, deal a lot of damage. Then he's got his little laser light show here, where you can ripping off Star Wars before, you know, Disney bought the rights. Oh, and then there's this move. The shot. This is the move that people are frustrated by the most. Instantly kills you if you are not prepared enough. And by not pre prepared enough, eh? Aside from that, this fight is pretty simple. When that shock move happens, well, you know what? I think I'll just show you when we cut back. So, uh, see you guys in a second. All right, let's try this again. So when this move happens, you're supposed to uh, move over your little uh, cursor to the, uh, what was it? Uh, what's it called? Basically, your command menu changes so everything shows up as shot. When that happens, you're supposed to hopefully hit the release command so at some point, yada yada yada. Really is impossible to get perfectly so, what I recommend doing is just keep spamming the X button when that move happens. He does that move about a limited amount of times. You can do it at random, but really as far as scripted, he only does that, does that twice. You already saw the first time, so he's only got one more time after that. If you really want to avoid it though, that's why I can recommend you guys to avoiding it is by using Strike Rate during his certain bar threshold. As you saw when he... And here we go again, okay. Yeah, that's better. Anyway, as I was saying, the best way I can recommend avoiding that entirely? You notice how at a certain threshold, I use that at half his peak HP. That's generally when the first one happens. So if you catch Strike Raid at that time, you know, without Tinkerbell and all, then you should be able to ignore it completely, because if, if you are invincible, he cannot do anything to you. You're good to go. Now will you hold still? Ow, ow. Come on. Okay, now here's where things get a little more frustrating. He starts teleporting around, shooting those little energy beams at you. And hitting him is not exactly, uh, you know, ideal. But, again? Jeez! You need to chill, freaking unknown. Just, why? I swear, he doesn't do this as often. Maybe because we're not doing as much damage to him as usual. And how did I lose my Aeroga already? Okay. Try this again. At any rate, uh, there should be another shock raid coming up soon enough. So if you're ready with your strike raid, prepare right now. If not, then just hope to God that the X button does you a favor. Ow. Also another thing that I did not get a chance to mention is this little barrier attack. Every now and then, you're too close. 
no damage to you, but with counter attack, you should be able to get some uh, use out of it. Now he's going into his little double lightsaber mode. He's doing his little lightsaber moves. Da 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 da. Ha ha ha. Hey yo. Ouch. Knock it off. Come here, you. Oh. Still. That's it. That's it. Yeah, keep healing me, Donald, buddy. I'd appreciate it. Ow, 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 ow. Hold. Still. Da, 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 da. Yeah, barrier, great, fantastic. Let me whack you now with my keyblade. And we've almost actually finished this whole fight. Huh. Well, I guess a second try, too. I can't have enjoyed that. No, you don't. Stop it. Guy? Unknown? Uh-oh. And now here comes his third move. This thing. After a certain amount of HP has been dealt, he'll go into this little ball of light and deal a massive amount of damage. And once that move is performed for the first time, well, then things just got real. His beams turn red, well, his air ones anyway, and it becomes more damage inducing it. Another shockwave attack, how long did that take you? Come on, shock, 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 er, no, release, release, there we go, Woo, that was close. Uh, thank you, Donald, for being alive, for being you. And now that I'm, I've lost my Tinkerbell, time for Strategy B. Once you've lost Tinkerbell, you strike raid like a boss. We're invincible during this phase, so uh, best to take advantage of it. And of course, with MP rage and MP haste, MP should not be much of an issue, but if you are a little worrisome, then of course there's always your elixirs and mega elixirs. Oh, come on! I literally know! Oh, did it go? How? How? We were so close. We, we were so close. How did we lose? How, how did we lose? I'm usually able to kill him by that green bar. Or get close to it. I never actually deal with fishing blow, but jeez, come on. Okay. Sirlet likes to F me over. Let's try this again, and this time... We'll hopefully win. All right, and we're back to the light show of the century. Okay, let's try this again. And this time around, I have Tinkerbell on my side, so uh, I should not die this time. I really shouldn't. Although now I'm more vulnerable because I can't do my freaking strike raid, which is a bit of an issue. But nothing now will put me down for the count. If anything, I have more chances to survive this, to win this. I can do this, and oh come on now! And as I say, I'm gonna die from this, I bet. Yep, go figure. Yeah, I come back from that. Donald, buddy, help me out here. And as for you, also so I can strike raid your hey. That's it. Come on, come to Papa Sora. And you're not shock maneuvering me again. No, I refuse to let you. No, not the Trinity! Oh, no. I forgot I had that, the, had a, that thing of quit. Uh-oh. I think I looks her. Okay. This time, let's get away from the freaking party so I don't... Oh, come on! Thank you, Luck. And this time, please, no strike rate. Do not use Trinity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, oh, so much. That would have really ticked me off. Will you please hold still? Like, actually? Or are you just here to spite me now? That's what it seems like to me. You just want to spite me. Yeah, he definitely is here to spite me now. He's pissed off because I'm beating him. Talk about my luck. Okay, 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 okay. Great. Strike raid? Aha! Gotcha now! I outsmarted you now, didn't I? Didn't I? Get away from party. Strike raid. Come on then. Come on then. Hold still. Oh! No, you don't! Not the Trinity again! Oh, you know what? Fine. Please deal some damage. I beg it. And somehow I got some. Uh, no! 
I said stop that crap! Enough! Of... Oh boy. I'm just gonna let that one do his thing. Okay. Strike raid! Strike raid! Strike raid! No! Bad! Unknown! Die! Jeez! I swear he never gives me this much trouble. But okay, looks like our work here is done. Now then... Wanna go for round two? Huh? Impressive. Yeah, I would hope so. This will be enjoyable. What are you talking about? Hold still. What the? What did he just do? It is beyond your comprehension. For now. Until we meet again. Wait, what are you? <gasps> I am. Nothing. You are nothing, because you are not here anymore. But a mere shell. That also works. Basically the same thing as nothing. He's just a shadow of his former self. And obtain the EXP necklace, although we don't really need it now, and the 13th and final answer report. We should be good now. We really should. And now that's taken care of. He who doesn't exist trophy has been unlocked. And now... Your journal should be complete. Uh, mine is mu is except for the mini games because of reasons. Professor, great. Anything else? Nope. Okay then. So yeah, by this point, excluding the mini games from my file, you will have had this whole thing registered and completed. You guys are now ready to take on and summon the wise once again and unlock your special secret ending. However. That's going to have to wait until next time, because that will be a true finale of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And it may or may not be also a break from the Road to, final, or Road to Kingdom Hearts 3. I was about to say Final Fantasy 15, but, you know, that's already done and over with. Yeah, it might be a break from the Road to, final Fa Road to Kingdom Hearts 3. Come on, brain. It'll be the end of the Road to Kingdom Hearts 3 for a bit. Maybe. Depends on the time I have. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy a new LP when that happens. And I'll get to that more tomorrow. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Share this video with your friends, and of course, if you're new here to the channel, and want to see more Kingdom Hearts as it comes out, well, whenever it does, especially the finale tomorrow, then make sure you have subscribed, and join the Dread Knights in this final fight against the darkness. And until next time, this is my Angel for signing out. Have a great rest of your day, take care, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow with the finale to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix.